Recently, Diedrich Haddon and his wife decided to dance provocative at his birthday party. Watch this. This is all over the internet. But let me say this, don't be surprised because Diedrich Haddon has been compromising for years. That's why he didn't have a problem with the satanic Grammy Awards. How does that pertain to the Grammys? I, I'm telling you, I, if I was sitting there, I wouldn't recommend anybody to leave out. If you're spiritual, I would tell my friend, hey, can you handle this? No, I'm getting out of here. Okay, go ahead. I would ask somebody else, can you handle it? Yeah, we can handle this. Greater is he that's in you, right? Than he that's in the world, right? Right? You have the Holy Ghost. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, right? Yep. What power is greater than the Holy Ghost? You tell me. No power. Okay, we're going to sit here and we're going to pay attention. That's what we're going to do. That's if I was there with you at the Grammys. What kind of pastor would allow his wife to wear a see-through shirt as she twerks to Snoop Dogg's music? By the way, the name of the song is Drop It Like It's Hot. That expression refers to women dropping their behinds to the floor as they dance seductively. And he see no problem with this at all. Listen to these lyrics. I got a rolly on my arm and I'm pouring Sean Dunn and I rolled the best weed because I got it going on. As you notice, the song promotes drugs. Let's keep going. I'm a nice dude with some nice dreams. See these ice cubes. See these ice creams. Eligible bachelor. Million dollar boat. That's wider than what's spilling down your throat. That's a sexual expression that refers to oral you know what. And there's many other degrading lyrics in this song. One verse, they said, I specialize in making all the girls get naked. I'm a bad boy with a lot of H. Pistol whip you, dip you, then flip you. Then dance to this MF music we crypt to. So don't try to run up on my ear talking all that raspy S. Trying to ask me S. When my end, feel your vest. They ain't going to pass me S. You should think about it. Take a second. Matter of fact, you should take for B and think before you F with Lil Skateboard P. And he had the nerves to defend this after he got exposed. I want him to run their mouth because it's something to talk about. It's something to, to, ha to have a conversation at the table about this because it's time to be free in God and without being in sin. It's time. You go find you a wife that you can grind on you and pray with you oh when it's just be done. Don't get no woman wrapped in swaddling clothes. I've been there, done it. I can't do that. If we don't do it, man, we're going to lose so many more marriages, man. We got to show them the truth. Man, That's we all love you, bro. Stop we love bleeding. You, bro. <laughs> love you more, man. Diedrich Haddon, just be honest and say you don't believe the Bible. Because modesty is the Bible way and not nakedness. Holiness is the Bible way and not worldliness. How can light and darkness have fellowship? If anyone claims to be a pastor and has no problem with partaking with the unfruitful works of darkness, it's because their light has gone out or they never had the light of God. Romans chapter 12 and verse 2 says this, And be not conformed to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Here's the question. Is this good for the kingdom? Is this acceptable to God? Or should we come out from the world and be ye separate? According to 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17, there is no way a person can be walking in the light, but can't see the danger that's in the dark. Light reveals, light illuminates, which means God gives us discernment so that we can judge righteously between right and wrong, good and evil. If Diedrich Haddon sees nothing wrong with this, he's not qualified to lead anyone. And let me say this, because it's your birthday 
And because it's your wife, it does not make it right to fellowship with the world. It's still wrong. Adam and Eve, they were married and God gave them a commandment not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. When they disobeyed God, they were punished. I said that to say this, God's word does not change for you, your wife, or anyone else. If you are married, honor God in your marriage. Acknowledge God in all thy ways, and he shall direct thy path. Don't put your wife out there like she's a video girl or a loose woman. We are of the kingdom. We should be example to the world and also to other believers. God bless you.